Imagine a world where wind turbines don't need massive towers, concrete foundations or perfect wind conditions to generate massive amounts of clean electricity. China has just turned this dream into reality. The S1500 airborne wind turbine has achieved something extraordinary. One megawatt of power generated from the sky. This isn't science fiction, this is engineering brilliance and China is leading the revolution. Today, we'll explore how this floating power plant works, the science behind its incredible efficiency, the three-year journey from concept to megawatt reality, the brilliant minds and company that made it possible, the technical challenges they overcame, the risks and dangers nobody talks about, and why this technology could reshape the entire energy industry forever. Let's discover how China just made ground-based wind turbines obsolete. The story begins with Beijing Saw's energy technology company, founded by Dun Tianrui, a visionary engineer with ambitious goals, working with Tsinghua University, one of China's top technical institutions, and the Aerospace Information Research Institute of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. This collaboration brought together China's best minds in aerospace engineering. Their mission was simple but revolutionary. Harvest the incredibly powerful winds that exist 1500 meters above ground. While traditional turbines are limited by ground level wind conditions. High altitude winds are three times faster and incredibly consistent since wind power scales with the cube of wind speed. When wind speed doubles, the available energy increases eight times. This creates a massive untapped energy resource floating above our heads. But reaching these heights requires completely different engineering approaches. They chose helium as their lifting gas for maximum safety, combined with the Magnus effect for aerodynamic stability. The Magnus effect occurs when a spinning object moves through fluid creating pressure differences. This creates lift force perpendicular to the direction of motion. Think of a baseball pitcher throwing a curve ball using spin. The same physics principles keep the S-1500 stable in flight. Their first breakthrough came in October 2024. The S500, 23 meters long and 15 meters wide, housing one turbine generator capable of 50 kilowatts output, flying at 500 meters altitude for 10 continuous minutes, successfully generating 50 kilowatts of clean electricity. This proved the concept worked and attracted major investment. Three months later, they launched the more powerful S1000, 30 meters long, same diameter but significantly more powerful, operating at 1,000 meters altitude with improved stability, generating over 100 kilowatts consistently for hours. Each test provided crucial data for the final breakthrough. The engineering team learned valuable lessons about high altitude operations. September 2025 brought the game changing S1500 megawatt system. 60 meters long, 40 meters wide, basketball court size. 40 meters tall, equivalent to a 13 story building, housing 12 separate 100 kilowatt turbine generators, each made from ultra lightweight carbon fiber materials. Carbon fiber offers 56% more compressive strength per dollar than commercial alternatives. The helium filled structure provides buoyancy for the entire system. The innovative annular wing duct maximizes airflow efficiency through all generators. Electricity travels through a kilometer long high voltage tether cable to ground stations. The tether cable represents a breakthrough in high voltage transmission technology. Multiple copper conductors carry electrical power while aramid fibers provide strength. Water blocking compounds prevent moisture infiltration that could cause failures. The cable withstands 350 pounds of braking strength. Neutrally buoyant design reduces stress on the airborne platform. Special polyurethane jacket it resists abrasion from constant movement. Testing took place in Xinjiang's challenging desert environment. Full assembly in extreme desert conditions with temperature variations. Comprehensive pressure integrity checks ensuring safety before each flight. Launch and retrieval operations during both day and night conditions. Testing continued even in strong wind conditions exceeding normal limits. The result exceeded expectations. 1.2 megawatts generated continuously. Dun Tianri announced all planned goals were achieved ahead of schedule. The S1500 uses 40% fewer materials than traditional turbines. 
farms, reducing electricity production costs by 30% compared to conventional wind farms. The system can be relocated within hours, unlike permanent tower installations. Perfect for disaster relief operations requiring immediate power restoration. Ideal for remote islands and isolated locations without grid connections. Mining sites and offshore platforms can benefit from immediate deployment. Military applications provide temporary power needs without permanent infrastructure. Rural communities without grid connection gain energy independence instantly. But how does this revolutionary technology actually work in practice? Tethered aerostats use buoyancy to reach optimal altitudes above the atmospheric boundary layer. The atmospheric boundary layer extends from ground level to approximately 100 meters. Different atmospheric layers have dramatically different wind characteristics and energy potential. Ground level winds are turbulent and inconsistent due to surface obstacles. High altitude winds flow smoothly and predictably with minimal turbulence. This 1500 uses fly gen technology with generators mounted airborne rather than ground based, unlike ground gen systems that use tethered kites to pull ground based generators. Reinforced tether cables contain high voltage electrical conductors protected by multiple layers ground stations synchronize the alternating current from s1500 and distribute electricity to grids integration with existing power infrastructure is seamless requiring minimal modifications saws energy plans mass production starting in 2026 with initial manufacturing capacity First commercial units will connect to power grids immediately upon certification. Additional testing across various Chinese regions will continue through 2025. This could revolutionize global energy markets by making sky energy accessible, making the vast atmospheric energy resources an untapped gold mine for nations. Countries could achieve true energy independence regardless of geographical constraints. Environmental benefits include minimal land use impact and no concrete foundations. No concrete foundations required reduces material consumption by up to 90%. Other international companies have attempted airborne wind energy development. American companies Alteros and Makani faced insurmountable technical challenges and funding issues. Google's Makani project spent over $100 million before shutting down. China's S1500 achieved the first successful megawatt scale commercial demonstration globally. China's government supports large-scale high-altitude wind development through 2030. Their action plan prioritizes airborne energy systems as strategic technology. This positions China as the undisputed leader in next-generation renewable energy. But significant challenges and risks remain that supporters rarely discuss. Aviation safety represents the most serious concern for widespread deployment. Agricultural aircraft and recreational planes operate in similar airspace daily. Current air traffic control systems aren't designed for large stationary objects. Unlike ground turbines, airborne systems cannot simply stop when problems occur. Emergency landings require the system to remain flyable under all conditions. Poor weather conditions require immediate system retrieval for safety. Launch and landing procedures are extremely difficult to automate reliably. Bird and bat collisions present significant ecological concerns for migration routes. Moving tether cables are difficult for birds to anticipate during flight. Airborne systems operate in migration corridors with higher bird densities. Sound emissions could affect nearby communities more than traditional turbines. Multiple noise sources include generators, winch systems, and moving moving tethers. Investor confidence requires proven reliability over decades of operation. Components must withstand harsh environmental conditions, including lightning strikes. Insurance costs for airborne systems will likely exceed traditional turbine coverage. Despite serious challenges, international expansion opportunities clearly exist. Desert and island applications offer immediate value for isolated communities. This breakthrough represents genuine innovation worthy of continued development. The future energy landscape could be completely transformed by atmospheric harvesting. 
China has demonstrated clear technological leadership in airborne wind energy. This achievement represents extraordinary engineering excellence and national commitment. The S1500 proves that the sky truly is the limit for renewable energy, but success will depend on addressing legitimate safety and environmental concerns. Responsible development requires transparency about both benefits and risks. If you found this fascinating, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Share this video with friends interested in breakthrough energy technology. Consider becoming a channel member for exclusive behind the scenes content. Quick quiz time for our engaged viewers. What's the total generating capacity of the S1500's 12 individual turbines combined? Drop your answer in the comments below and explain your reasoning. What other revolutionary energy technologies should we investigate next? Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe for more breakthrough technology coverage.